Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Uh, we are out fishing the ponds again today. And I just got this nice two pounder on a uh, shaky head. This is actually our third fish, but we forgot to film the other two. So uh, I'm going to let this guy go and get back to you. So we caught, um, uh, he caught, Justin caught two more before this on shaky heads. Normally catch them on rattle traps in these ponds. And um, today we had to make an adjustment. We're catching them on shaky heads. So um, probably going to catch a couple more on shaky heads and then try some other ponds. So um, stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy the episode. Okay guys, just got another two pounder. We're down this section of the pond and we're really starting to get into them. We lost two big ones. Justin lost one that came up by the bank about a two and a half, three pounder. And I just had one right before this. Like literally right before this I had a good one on it. And like as soon as my, I reeled my bait back in after I lost him, Justin set the hook on this one. So hopefully we can get some more. Looks like they, we might have found a good pattern here. And they're really fat. Hey guys, just got another one in the same cove. Look how beautiful that fish is. It's only been like 30 seconds since we showed you that last fish. Oh. Justin's showing me how to shaky head fish today. Oh yeah. He's That's a beautiful fish that are real thick. Oh yeah. So we're gonna fish for more, probably I'm almost guaranteed we're getting some more because they're starting to turn on. Why do you? It's not like we're fishing really no, we didn't. There we go. That's a good one. Another two pounder? Oh, he's big. Oh, he just, oh yeah, he's the biggest yet. There we go. Oh, he ate it too. I let him eat it longer. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look how he eats that. Nice. Look at this beautiful fish. Oh my gosh. That thing is really healthy. I know I say a lot, but these fish, there, there's a stack. That's a beautiful thing about fall fishing. You know, I talk about a lot how. It can get tough because such the inconsistent weather, but if you can find a school of these fish, they school up in the fall, it can be lights out like this, so we're gonna keep on fishing. That's a gorgeous two and a quarter, two and a half pound fish. I mean, look at how fat he is. They're just beautiful. Just fall fish are awesome. I mean, we might have to get all the fish here. Oh. Jesus, that's a big one. That's a good fish. Now you're out fishing me. That's a good fish again. Same kind of deal, you know. Just a beautiful fall fish. Pretty. About a, say a pound and a halfer in that school. We were just saying, hopefully, probably heard it if you can hear me. Right before that, I was like, hopefully we didn't catch them all out of here because that was pretty fun. And as soon as I said that bite, they're picking up. I mean, we've. I didn't have the camera running on some of them, but I have I have them running on some of them. I won't show it just because we didn't catch any, but I mean, we probably missed. How many fish did we miss? Uh, five or six. Five or six. Yeah. five or six fish we missed just because they're biting it so light. They're just barely touching it because this big cold front came in. You just have to make sure you, once they bite, just give them a little bit longer than normal so you, you, they can get it down their mouth a little bit more so you won't miss them. So probably going to get some more beautiful fish. I mean, it's middle of November. And, we're still whacking them some good numbers and hopefully some good size later on today, so we'll get back. Fish? Yep. Keep pressure on How big is it? He's in hole. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, just got another two pounder. Same thing, but look how thick this fish is. You can just tell they're, it's fall. I mean, they're just feeding up a lot. They're, they're they're hitting the base really light, but they're just pulling so hard. So we're gonna let them go. It's been, it's good, it's gonna be a great day. I mean, we've only been here 45 minutes and it's, it's gonna be a good day. What, but, what fish do you think this is? What, like eight, nine? Uh, yeah, something like that. And they've all been good quality. We're getting. We have not moved from this spot. It's crazy out today. I know. We've, how many bites do you think we've had here? Oh, probably 15, 16. Yeah. 
something like that. I mean, we've got a bunch of bites. We're missing so many because they're just tapping him. We're letting them have it, and the hook just won't catch it, I think, just because they're barely picking up I mean, that like, tail. Yeah, like this guy, the instant it cold brought him on shore, it the worm just fell out. That's why it's so important, important when you're when they're biting it real light, just to keep pressure on them and not horse them in because you could, if they're skin hooked, you'd rip it. Um, guy for today uh, you know that's a pound and a pound fish little guy um, you know it's what you're talking about though you know felt the tap I was like okay I'm not gonna set the hook in case it's a big one or I just don't want to lose any fish today but let him have a little bit longer and you can tell it's hooked a little bit better so I mean just look how healthy they are today look how red their gills are and just how healthy they are I mean, this is a smaller fish, he's not as quite as fat, but still a good, healthy fish. Alrighty guys, um, Justin just got this about two pounder, maybe a little bit less, but you look in his mouth, Justin hooked him, right about, turn him a little bit more. Justin hooked him right about up here, and if you look real close in the corner of his mouth, hold on, keep it right there. If you look real close in the corner of his mouth, you can see a spot where we've already hooked him. I bet you, I'd bet money that this this fish, sorry about the lawnmower, I bet money that this fish, we, this is one of the fish we've missed, so that's a good sign that they're coming back. So let's let him go. There he goes. That's a good sign that they're coming back. Probably already got 10, 10 or so fish. It's a good pound and a quarter, pound and a half fish. And then we're starting to get into it a little bit more. We're starting to get tuned up. We're learning to let him eat a little longer. We're not missing as many fish, so you know I let him eat a little bit longer, and I got him right in the roof. Good, good, good place to get him on a shaky head. All right, everyone. Um, I'm gonna go over how we're catching these fish. Pretty simple. Um, we're just using quarter ounce strike king shaky head. And um, sorry about the wind, by the way, but. Uh, we use a quarter ounce strike king shaky head. Um, I'm using 10 pound braid to 10 pound floor. Justin's just using what? Uh, just 12 pound, 12 pound floor. Um, and we're using, the, I think the key, one of the keys, is we're using one of my favorite shaky heads. This is a, um, this is a strike king finesse worm. They are made of elastic material, so they stretch. And that, well, I don't know if that's what it's catching, but they're they're buoyant. So when you're on the bottom. Since they're buoyant, the head will keep them down, but it'll the tail will float up. So I think that's kind of getting these finicky fish to react. Nope. And um, you know, that's just what we're doing. We're using spinning equipment so we can get you know more feel out of the bait. And um, pretty simple, straightforward. What we're doing, we're just casting out more in the middle. We're not really parallel in the banks because I think they're out in the middle more than closer to the banks. And um, we're just we're not really dragging it. We're kind of hopping it, little hops, just shaking it like its name. Um, that's why it works so good, just shaking it. And, um, you know, most of the bites are just, you just feel a little bit different. You just feel a little bit of weight on it. And um, you got to let it be a little bit more. Like I said, it's, it's getting tough out here. It's the the uh, cold weather moving in, so the fishing is getting tough today. If you can find some of these good days of these fish are stuck, then you can have a good day like today. So um, that's basically what we're doing. So probably going to get some more. And stay tuned. So I figure we'll just throw this in the video. Justin was what we thought was going to be about a seven or eight pound bass. Turns out to be a big carp. How big would you say he is? I didn't get a good look at him. Huge. Yeah. <laughs> he was, he was. He's tiring. Hold on, don't break your line. Oh, he came on. Oh, well, <laughs> here's the proof. <laughs> he came undone. He just had him by one scale. <laughs> that was funny. Well, it would have took you about an hour to get that thing in, bud. <laughs> I know, he was coming. 
Alrighty everyone, um, we kind of moved around the lake. We went about, I'd say, 20 minutes without a fish. And then we pulled up to the spot that we were catching pretty good earlier in the fall and summer on rattle traps. And I just caught about a pound and a half fish on a shaky head once again, um, just out in the middle again, right on the middle of the pond. And um, hopefully we can get into them again. So um, stay tuned.